We have a couple more problems left on this. Next up, 18, write the solubility equilibrium expression KSP for PBR2. It's easier to do this if we write out a reaction showing the dissociation of PBR2. This is going to be an equilibrium. Our products are going to be PB2 plus aqueous and 2 BR minus aqueous. Don't forget that the 2 shows up on, as the quantity of the BR minus ions. The KSP for this is going to be PB2 plus times BR minus and it's squared. Everything is raised to the stoichiometric coefficient. Calculate the molar solubility of MnCO3. Again, we need, we need to do an ice table. So we need a balanced equation, MnCO3 solid in equilibrium with Mn2 plus and CO3 2 minus And with this, remember, we don't know how much solid we start with. We don't start with either one of these products. We know that some of the solid will dissociate. That's going to give us our products when the reaction is all over. We still are not going to know how much we're ending with, but we know we have X and X of our cation and anion. The molar solubility is this amount right here. How much actually dissociates to solve for X because if we know 1x, we know all the x's. To solve for x, we're going to use the equilibrium expression, KSP. It is Mn2 plus times CO3 2 minus. KSP is 4.2 times 10 to the minus 6, and that is equal to x squared. x is the square root of 4.2 times 10 to the minus 6. Two point zero five times ten to the minus three, and this is in molarity. The default unit of an ice table is molarity, unless we have changed its unit. So there's that answer. This is the molar solubility. Last but not least, if you wanted to increase the solubility of iron three hydroxide in water, what should you add? Let's write an equation to help us understand what this problem is asking of us saying if we have this solid iron 3 hydroxide and it does dissociate a little bit in water which is going to give us these products right here if we want to increase the solubility increase the solubility that means that's another way of saying more of the solid will dissociate or dissolve which means that the reaction needs to go to the right goes right so we need our reaction to go this way how can we use Le Chatelier's principle to push the reaction in this direction and our options are adding NaOH or adding HCl well if we add NaOH, it is going to be increasing the amount of OH minus we have. If we increase OH minus, the reaction is going to move away from the OH minus to try to use it up to get rid of the extra stuff that we added. And that's not what we want to have happen. It's the opposite of what we want to have happen. So just by process of elimination, we should be adding HCl. But let's, let's also think about why that would work. If we add HCl, which is an acid, that means that we are going to react that HCl with our hydroxide, which is a base, the hydroxide that's being produced in this reaction. And when that happens, that's the same as removing the hydroxide 
from the equation. So we are removing the hydroxide from the equation, which is going to cause this equilibrium to shift to the right to try to put back the hydroxide that we are removing by adding an acid.